Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in the day we've got another Q&A. Yep, I'm doing another one of these, so if this video's like a success, I'll um, maybe make this a weekly thing, maybe try and do it more often, because um, I did one a few months ago, and a lot of people quite liked it, and received a lot of a lot of praise on that video, so yep, just got some shoutouts on the screen here, um, so if you can follow them up, that'd be great. A few of them have actually asked them, um, some of these questions as well, so, but we'll get into that later though, so, yep, Q&A. First question is, why did you decide to become a YouTuber? This one's fairly simple, to be honest, um, it was a few years ago, and I had nothing to do, basically. I was in that phase of transition where, like, I didn't really have much, I don't want to say that I didn't have any friends, but, I had friends, but it was something that keep me entertained basically, keep you guys entertained, um, and also it, it's stress relieving as well, it helps with like self-confidence and mental health, that might seem really 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 cheesy, but it's true, but <laughs> yeah it was a few years ago and I saw other people doing it, um, so I thought I'd give it a try, um, I think a few of my other friends as well, I'm not sure if they're still doing it, but yeah, I saw a few of my other friends doing it and I thought I'm gonna try this and so far it's worked so hopefully we can keep that going. Next question kind of relates to that it's kind of it, right it's kind of a part two of the first question it was I nervous before starting my first video and honestly man not really because I didn't show my face in, in that video I can't remember what I did to be fair I'm pretty sure it was just me making I can't remember what it was, sorry, but I wasn't nervous because I didn't think anyone was gonna watch it to be fair. It was just me testing it out and after that I started to show my face more and started talking. So yeah, wasn't really nervous um before starting my first video, but I can understand where where you're coming from there. Question three is how often will I post my videos? This one varies, but in terms of right now, I'm aiming to do at least two videos a week. Um, trying to be consistent, so yeah, two videos a week, definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's manageable, I'm gonna do it, because I'm trying to be more consistent now in terms of uploading and everything. You know, in the past, hasn't always been like that. You know, life gets in the way, like last year with GCSEs and everything, but <laughs> I promise I'm trying. So, yep. Question four is, what are my nicknames? Um, I've got many nicknames, quite a few of them, to be fair. Um, Haza, Hasbu, Haribo, from when I was really, 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 really little. Fozzy, because of my last name, Harold, Haroldinho, I could go on forever, but I'm gonna try and keep this video under 20 minutes, so <laughs> yeah, if I, if I go on about my nicknames, I will honestly be here all day, but yeah. Question five, um, dumb things that I fell for as a kid, there are loads of these to be fair, and some that I'm ashamed to admit. Um, for example, the ice cream truck, when the play the music for the ice cream and um, naturally as a kid I'd want to go out and get ice cream but for some reason my parents would make up this lie that when they'd play the music you know for the ice cream it would mean that they were that they were all out of ice cream and I believed it as well because I'm an idiot so there's more to be fair, but no, that's just embarrassing. I cringe every time I come back to that one, but yeah, horrible. <laughs> Question six, um, am I an introvert or an extrovert? Well, I'm currently sat in my bedroom in the dark making YouTube videos instead of by my, and I'm by myself, so I think that pretty much answers your question. <laughs> Question seven, um, one time, 
all right one time i actually accidentally offended someone this is a bit extreme but a few weeks ago i was chatting this last on snap and i can't remember it was just you know a bit of back and forth like the usual sort of questions like where you're from like how old are you and all that all that stuff everything's going well but She hadn't gotten back to me in a few years. Not, no, not in a few. She hadn't gotten back to me in hours, right? And I asked her what was wrong. Like, you know, why, why? I didn't ask her why she was not ignoring us or anything. I just asked her, are you all right? Like, what's on then? She put, yeah, I'm just, it turns out she was feeling depressed. And yeah, um, for some reason, I think probably because it was late at night or something. But my stupid self, right? <laughs> I ended up written LOL and then I sent it to her. Yep. I didn't realise until after I'd sent it though. So it was it was an accident, but she fucking hates me now and the worst part about this is I blocked her right, so she can't get in contact with us anymore. And she doesn't watch my videos, so one of her friends was fucking attacking us after like, oh my god, you're horrible, I can't believe you'd say that, and just stuff like that, but not my problem anymore. So, yep. Question eight, what would I do if I won the lottery? Well, this is um <laughs> wishful thinking, but if I won the lottery, it would depend how much honestly depend on how much um, money I'd win to be honest. Like, I'd probably, um, you're probably going holiday, yeah. I'd probably save some, some money as well, you know, for the future. Like, I wouldn't just go spend, spend, spend until I have nothing left because the lorry can sometimes ruin lives. And you've seen that before. And I don't know, maybe buy a, ni a nice mo like a nice house in the hills or something. That'd be good. So, yeah. Question nine, what's my favourite number? My favourite number is the number four. No particular reason, it just is. Question ten, what has been my favourite year so far? Um, okay, so this one's fairly obvious. It's the year 2018 because I was in year seven. We went on a lot of trips. It was, you know, just peak. <laughs> um... We had the World Cup that year as well. 2019 was a bit dead. 2020 obviously we had lockdown. 2021 was j just felt a bit weird. Um, you know, everything going back to normal. And 2022 has actually been all right. So, but in terms of my favorite year, it's definitely been 2018. Question 11, where, when the, when is my birthday? My birthday is the 25th of June. So, you know, send me a card, whatever, but it's, it's not my birthday for ages, so don't have to worry about it just yet. Um, Alright, question 12, an embarrassing memory from when I was young, or just a funny story, oh, alright, so, it's alright because I get this a lot, because of my last name, foster, foster care, foster parents, adoption, all that, but, so, my mom and dad are, she went, I think, I think it's one of the doctors when I'd like just been born, literally just been born. And it obviously had their two names, obviously their last name. And then it had foster parents, foster parents, not foster parents, foster parents, because they're parents. But then again, they ended up getting asked, how long has he been adopted for? Or well, when did he decide to um, adopt them? Yeah, it's alright because I get it a lot, but it's it's just funny, I think. But yeah. Question 13. Who is my hero and why? Um, this is something I've never really thought of before. Um, going back to my nickname, I was quite a fan of Ronaldinho. Definitely, definitely, um, 
was my hero at one point because he was just so I remember just watching him as a kid and thinking he is just so freaking cool. What he did afterwards wasn't cool. Um, we'll not talk about that, but yeah. Freaking Prime Ronaldinho was just man, he just <laughs> he had he had my heart. He had my heart. So yeah. Either that or probably one of my parents because you know that's why I'm here today. So yep. Question 14, have I ever been in love? I have, yeah. I've also been cheated on. Well, I'm, well, not cheated on, it's just, it kind of, the relationship kind of died. Obviously, I'll not name any names, but the relationship was kind of dead. But even then, this individual moved on without telling me, not that I cared, but yeah. So, that's a funny little story for another day, though. Um, In terms of, like... Am I in a relationship right now, or am I in love right now? The answer is no, I'm still single. <laughs> I'm still on the hunt. Right, question 15. Can I do the Harlem Shake right now? I would do that, but unfortunately if I do that, then this video will probably get demonetized and taken down for something. But I'll leave a link to all the best, um, but I'll leave a link to that in the description to watch that because it's funny as hell. So, <laughs> apologies for that, but yeah. Question 16. Who is the most attractive person in the world right now? Very simple, very simple. Um, well, the most attractive person in the world, um, not right now, but definitely my future girlfriend, because obviously, you know, it's the person that you love the most, you, you care for her, so definitely my future girlfriend is the most attractive person in the world, whoever that is, when that, when that's gonna happen, we don't know. But yeah, my future girlfriend for the most attractive person in the world, because, you know. But, in terms of Safari, it's Marco Robbie apparently, so yeah, there you go. Question 17, um, this was asked to me by someone, what are your opinions on me, and should we get closer? not gonna name the name of this person because i haven't checked with them so i don't want to do that you seem really nice um would love to get would love to get to know you more um you can't get close if you want but i'm not gonna force anything on you yet um we should i think we should um but yeah you know how to find us instagram snapchat all that but yeah Yep, you're really nice. You're lovely. <laughs> Question 18 is What would you do if someone got If you Jesus Christ, I can't read this probably What would you do if you got a pregnant Lanky Rangers fans child pregnant Yeah, Lanky Rangers fans child pregnant, okay well, there's a simple solution to that. I'd um, take her and push her down the stairs. No, no. Um, I'm I'm 16, so I'm in no way ready to be a father yet. So <laughs> get rid of it. Just get rid of it. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm still a kid myself. I'm in no way ready to have kids yet. But <laughs> yep. You want to go out and have some wild sex with someone else? Fair enough. But I'm yeah. <laughs> Question 19. Is it appropriate to have fun in the library? No. Why? What is wrong with you? It's not that. Um, you can. Personally, it's not my idea of fun. Like, me thinking of fun doesn't scream library. But you can have fun in the library if you enjoy what you're doing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think you, you guys can already tell who asked that question. But, yeah. Last question. What do I think of lads who wear Stone Island and invite you back to their grandmas? Well, this personally has never happened to me, but I can definitely see it. I can, I definitely um, know what you mean by that. But personally, I don't have a problem with those kinds of people. But yeah, everyone, everyone knows that kind of person, right? But I don't have a problem with them. That's, that's all I can really say. So, yep, that pretty much concludes today's Q&A. Um, this is going to take me ages to edit, so please, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I tell, tell your friends about this, tell your mum about this, everything. 
But yeah, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, goodbye.